Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com and today I want to talk about iShifter. iShifter is a cloud-based technology right now for the iPad. However, it is coming to iPhone and iPod Touch and Android. Now, if it is very successful, they said they will even bring it to Windows 7. Now, iShifter uh, is able to even render Flash games to be playable on the iPad really well. And I think the reason why they brought it out for iPad um, first, to really demonstrate the technology that you can play these Flash games on the iPad. You know, and play, maybe playing Flash games on the iPhone would probably be a little hard since, you know, they're kind of really made for the PC with a mouse and a keyboard. So it's a little bit more forgiveness on the iPad. Now I have seen some demos of this um, floating around on YouTube and other places, so go check it out. I have seen some videos with only a little bit of lag. I mean, it's really good. I mean, considering this is, you know, the, the iPad with no flash support, where if you had to watch a television show, it's still very acceptable. It's not perfect, but it is acceptable. You know, so I'm going to talk about some of the other alternatives uh, for Flash on iOS. One, you have Skyfire, which renders videos into another format, probably MOV or MP4 or whatever, something like that. Works really good. I love Skyfire. Um, sometimes I'll use Cloud Browser, which is really good. Um, sometimes I'll use the Puffin Browser. Now, I really don't have a favorite. Um, most of the times, I'll probably lean toward Skyfire just for normal day stuff. However, for doing certain things, sometimes it's cloud browser. One time I was on CNET or it was IGN. I can't remember IGN and CNET. I had some problems. I think one of them worked with Puffin and the other one worked with Cloud. Something about the pop-ups or whatever it was. So if if you need Flash on iOS, I highly recommend getting all the um, all the programs or apps or whatever to put them in your arsenal when you need flash support. When this does come available for the iPhone iPod Touch, I will be getting this application. I'm very excited about it. However, I don't have an iPad, but I know some of you some of you guys might have um, an iPad. So just go download it. It's a great application, guys. So once again, guys, this has been mp4podcast.com signing out. And if this video has helped you, please subscribe to the channel. Take care, guys. Later. Bye.